What's going on guys and welcome back to another game analysis video. In this game, spoiler alert, I get a red card. It is the first red card of my USL championship career. I had another red card when I played over in Germany and then I, the last red card other than that was when I was like 17 in the, the club soccer days up in Portland. So pretty rare occurrence for me, but I thought it'd be great to go over this game and not only go over my touches and defensive plays and everything, but also talk about what happened, what went wrong and how I'm moving on from it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Here is the starting lineup for the Charleston Battery. I am Matt Sheldon, number 13, and in this game, I play right back. We're going with the 4-4-2, and then here is Atlanta United 2. As you can see, Atlanta United is going with the 4-3-3 uh, formation. Anyway, here is the start of the game. We are in white, and Atlanta United is in black. I'm starting over here at right back, and here's my very first play in the game. Ball's coming out, and then immediately into my winger. His back's to the goal. It's a tough ball to bring down, so I'm just providing a ton of back pressure, making it difficult so he can't just turn and easily bring that ball down. Uh, he ends up playing it back to his fullback, and they get out of it, but we end up getting possession of the ball right there. Here's my next play in the game. Ball's going to come all the way, bouncing all the way out to me, immediately checking my shoulder just to see where my winger is. And if I can have time to turn, I have a lot of space. So I'm going to turn with this ball, open up, look for my winger. It's a tough entry ball into there. So then I decide just to pop it up over, um, over his head into that space. Next play, just a header, free kick in our half or their half. And then I just get on the end of that. And then again, pressure that second ball as it comes down. I'm just going to let this play out because uh, it's a pretty good play from us. We're going to bring the ball all the way back to our center mids. A couple passes back to our center back. Great little Cruyff turn from Preston Kilwine, our center back. Great entry ball into one of our attacking center mids, out to our winger. Ball comes in, doesn't work out. Second cross comes all the way through, out to Aiden Apodaca, and then Aiden puts that away. So in the sixth minute, I mean, we go up 1-0. Great start from us. This has been kind of a trend from us in the season. I think we've started really, really well, and then we just kind of struggled to keep that intensity or keep that uh, that rhythm going for the entire game. But great start from us here in the first five, six minutes of the game. Good finish, good entry ball way to follow that up, and then just, you know, ton, like has pretty much the entire open goal on that back post. In this play right here, my winger actually has the ball. We were all really pushed over into this far left side. So I want to get wide, but looking at my winger, I'm checking my shoulder and looking at my winger. I don't want to run right to where he's at and then close that passing lane. So I'm going to stay central and receive this ball right here, almost as a center mid, playing to my other center mid. And then as that ball goes, start to drift over again. Goalkeeper takes the free kick from our own half, kind of pumps it forward. We don't win that first ball, so I'm just getting ready and anticipating that second ball to drop down towards my winger. It does exactly that. I was going to provide a lot of back pressure and then win that header, but end up getting called for a foul, so I went over his back there. And the next play, just following my winger as he checks in, as he makes that run down the line, just following him. And then this is like a, a classic situation where all I'm going to do is kind of just jump in front of that winger to get in between the man and the ball. And then as I feel contact here, just fall down, earn the foul, get contact in the back, and earn a free kick right there. Now, goal kick for Atlanta United. Uh, they're just going to play it all the way forward. I'm the last man back. This is pretty quickly after a corner kick. Misjudge it a little bit there, but still do a good job just to win that header. And then a little bit of a scramble here in the middle, but we end up coming out with the ball. Augie Williams kind of brings that down and plays it back towards me. Kind of pops it up though, so I'm going to chest that down, have some pressure for my winger, and I'm just going to hit that forward trying to find one of my attacking players here. Here is a counterattack for Atlanta United. As you can see, tons of Atlanta United players running forward. You have to be very careful here. I'm staying inside, protecting the middle, and allowing this ball to go wide here. Actually take one step, get a little bit late on that. But still, if there's going to be a shot on goal, we want the shot to be from this angle. This is a very, very tough angle to hit. Ends up going out for a goal kick, and then mission accomplished. Kind of snuffed out that, that counterattack here. Uh, once again, kind of 2v1 here. I can't step out. If I step out at all trying to pressure this, all he's going to do is just play the ball right down the line to Mejia, and now we have one less defensive player here for this counterattack. So I'm plugging the middle, forcing that ball out wide, and then as the ball goes out wide, I do overstep a little bit, allowing him to cut inside. As you can see, overstep a little bit, allow him to cut inside. Still think I move my feet well. Honestly, barely touched him there. I think that's a little soft to give a free kick there, 
but uh, but still, it's a good move. And once he feels that contact, he goes down. So it's fair enough there. Next play, a little overload on this side again. Ball's going to pop right out to me. I'm going to take a touch, look up, pick up my head, and then just play this ball on the ground into my striker so we can have a little counterattack here. So play the ball on the ground to him, tell him turn, and then uh, we're off to the opposite side now. Free kick for Atlanta United. They take it quick. Caught us off guard a little bit, caught me off guard. And then here both times now Mejia, Mejia has cut inside on me, so I'm really forcing him outside. I think it's the right decision. It's all good. He takes it to his left foot and has a fantastic shot to the far post, actually hits the far post. So dangerous play. It's tough. I have to be a little bit tighter there, but I think it's a great shot for Mejia. And honestly, I mean, that's a very, that's a tough angle. It's a great shot. I could have been one step closer to apply even more pressure on there, but that's that's tough to uh to, to defend. Once again, going about 1v2, 1v3 here, Atlanta United really overloading these wings um, and just holding back, just really trying to delay to allow time for my winger to get back there, DZ to get back. And then another counterattack on the far side. We were doing a lot of defending, very tired legs at this point. Here, I'm trying to play with the, my left foot and play this center back so he has time here. Completely mishit it, comes off my heel, goes right to the Atlanta United player and uh, almost get something dangerous, end up blocking that shot, but very dangerous there. Corner kick from Atlanta United now. They opt to go short, and then they cross in the ball uh, to the back post here. I'm just at the back post winning that header, and then have to be careful there, DZ, but uh, ends up just being out for a goal kick. Then I'm going up for the header there, win that header, and then all the way back to Atlanta United too, though. Uh, and then once again, ball comes to my winger. His back is towards the goal, just providing a ton of back pressure there, forcing him to play back. This is where I received my first yellow card of the game. Ball's just going to come into my winger, stepping in, trying to win that, end up hitting and kicking his, his leg. So 100% a foul, end up getting the yellow card here. And I should have been smart. I felt like this entire first half, I've gotten a lot of fouls called on me, which I didn't think were fouls. And so I should know that anytime I aggressively step like that, I can easily get a yellow card. And you know, I just kept on going aggressively and it was going to happen sooner or later. And it, for it to happen in the 32nd minute or so, uh, it's too early. Here, pick up the ball in my uh, in the attacking half. I'm checking my shoulder where my winger's at. I want to drive outside. I want to drive down the line. So I pick up that ball, start to dribble forward, little hesitation. 2v1 in the corner here. We've won the ball. Let's keep it. I'm going to play back to DZ and then we can swing the ball over to the opposite side now. And then here... Uh, balls are going to kind of just pop out to me. I'm just going to clear that ball as I have a winger right on my back. Try to pop that forward to the striker. Then once again, about 2v1 out here, I have to really force this ball wide. But Mejia is in such a central location that he now kind of takes priority right here. So I'm trying to step onto him. Pat does a great job to, to shift over. We do a great job to do some emergency defending and get that out. But very dangerous overload once again on this side. DZ plays me back the ball, tons of time now, play it right back in his feet, he plays it right back out to me now, and then as you can see right here, we want to shift the ball over to the other side, get Atlanta United's defense moving, and you can see this center mid Enoch, or Dom, sorry that's Dom, is calling for the ball now, asking for that, and we can swing it over to the opposite side here, playing all the way over to the left back. And then I'll let this play out once again because the ball is going to swing all the way back over to our side, back into Pat now. I'm just going to kind of pop up and create an angle for Pat. He's going to play me the ball, take my touch forward, look forward. You can see Enoch now checking down as a great angle. As I play this ball in, though, one of us, either me or DZ, needs to be there, right, where he plays it. DZ either needs to check back or I should do that one-two run going forward here. Now Enoch has the ball. You can see all the spaces right here. My winger is coming in this way. So I'm going to push forward, attack this space, call for the ball, do a little overlapping run, hit this right into the box first time, right into Andrew's feet. Um, and then now we can build out to the opposite side. And then here it is. This is where I get my second yellow. Big touch from the winger. Misjudged the, the, the timing of that tackle 100%. And this one... A thousand percent needs to be a yellow card. I'm just frustrated at myself here. You can see I'm just ex I accept it a hundred percent. Completely mistime it. He takes that. Mejia takes that big touch, and I immediately think I can get there. 
and I'm just one step late, half a second late, but it's, it's stupid. I mean, the, the first half's about to end and there's no reason for me to come into this tackle. I'm just frustrated about this game, frustrated that I've just had to 1v1 or 2v1 defend this entire time and I wanna go in for a big tackle here. Stupid decision, end up costing my team a man for the entire second half. We end up losing this game and it's honestly my fault because you know my ego and I wanna go in for this tackle. So very big mistake, dumb. And uh, probably, you know, one of the worst, worst decisions of my, uh, of my playing career. But honestly, all you can really do is just learn from it, talk to your coaching staff about it, and, uh, and move on. I mean, I, I've watched this back now hundreds of times, and I cringe every single time I see myself going for that second slide tackle. But it's just one of those things that you have to, you have to watch it. You have to understand what went wrong and how you should approach this next time. And then you move on, have that short-term memory, and, and focus on the next game. And that's, that's really what it's about. All right, guys. Well, I hope you can learn something from this video. And that was my first red card of my career. All right, guys. Peace.